Hi everyone, Mr. Porter here. For years I've been trying to find an easy way for students like you to remember your multiples of 7. I know these are sometimes the hardest multiples to remember, so I've tried to make it as easy to remember as possible. First, I was trying to show students how to distribute their 7 into 5 plus 2. Uh, for some of you that might be simple, but for others it was kind of confusing. So I went back to the drawing board, literally. I wrote the multiples of 7 on the board and left it there for a month. You see, all multiples have patterns, and some are really easy, like 2s and 5s and 10s. Others are harder to see, but they are there. I just needed to find this one. Then it happened. I saw a predictable pattern in my 7s. I couldn't believe how easy it was, and now I'm going to teach it to you. First, make a tic-tac-toe board. If you don't know tic-tac-toe, it's two horizontal lines and two vertical lines intersecting to make nine boxes. Starting in the bottom left-hand corner of the board, start numbering each box. One, two, three, then go up a row and keep counting. Four, five, six, and keep going through the top row. Seven, eight, nine. Next, we're going to count again, but this time we're going to start in the top left box, write our numbers going down, and we're going to start with the number zero. So, zero, one, two. This is where it gets just a little tricky. These digits are in the tens place and they repeat every three numbers. So I'm going to bring this two up to be in the tens digit in the middle column and keep counting. Two, three, four. Again, another repeat, so I'm going to bring this four up to the tens digit in the final column and keep counting. Four, five, six. That's it. Our chart is complete and now we have all of the multiples of seven from seven times one to seven times nine. Soon you can create your own multiples of seven chart in a matter of seconds. Do you want to see it, see it again? Here we go. Make the tic-tac-toe chart. Start counting from one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now down starting with zero. Zero, one, two. Bring the two up. Two, three, four. Bring the four up. Four, five, six. Simple, right? Now you can use this to check your math and figure out some small problems. 